Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <coughs> Pardon me, fans. Still fighting this cold. To Revelation X Thursday night. Steven Rogers here as always. Got a great show for you lined up tonight. Got some big announcements coming toward the end of the show. My fans, we are live in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City. Great, great night of action, fans. We thank you for tuning in. And also, fans, just a little special announcement. Um, I will be doing commentary, even though I am not associated with this company, but to help out, I will be doing commentary over on Cool BP12's channel tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time for Friday Night Icon for Icon Wrestling Federation and unlike the leagues everybody known for or come accustomed to of course one of the old playing leagues if you want to come and watch the action by all means come check it out As we got Tonga and a Kane Krom, the Dangerous Alliance, going up against Furious Frank and Bellamy Wayne, the Wolf of Midgard, the Kane Krom, Tonga Krom. Two men you do not, do not want to screw with. Fans, these guys here, no jokes. RevX Tag Team, former RevX Tag Team Champions. Tonga, former two time champion, once with Devin Harrell and once with his brother Akane. The Furious One, the Revelation X Hardcore Champion. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Got this match messed up. Messed up here. Brain fart. Is heels for effing days. Jeff Matthews, Mr. Phenomenal Force One. My apologies. Long day, y'all. 12 hour days. You'll have. It's live. I mess up. I'm not perfect. <coughs> Heels for days. Going up against the dangers of the lines. And there he comes. The hardcore drunk god. 
Matt Rush. Heels for days. Coming out separately here tonight. Can you imagine these guys and the enforcer? I mean, I, I mean, ironically, all three members are competing tonight of Heels for Days. The drunk god, Matt Rush. And Jeff Matthews are ready to throw down. And here we go, a cane in the ring with Jeff Matthews. <coughs> Kane just throws him down. One for the knee. Matthews got out of the real big right hand. Make it two. Springboard Acai into the inverted V. That's VKO. Kamagori. Standing Red Star Press. Jim Matthews is on fire. Keep the big man staggered. Keep him down. Nice back spin kick. That knee grazed him. Rolling elbow just rocked him. Here comes the drunk god, Matt Rush. Fuller reverse VKO. Shades of the franchise, Vince Griffith. Look at this. End of the corner. Irish whip, double, double team. Big shoulder blocks. Heels for days. Takes down the former. Oh, this cravat. The staining cravat. And Tonga comes and makes the save. Oh, gets nailed from behind. Cross Matthews! He nailed the cross Matthews. Rush is back in. Oh, got nailed the leg. Power Bob coming up. Dumps him down the side. Jim Matthews, I'm sorry, Matt Rush in trouble. Okay, doing this on his own. And only a two. Okay, thought he might have had it done there. Tonga Crom getting back on the apron. Big bomb! Too close for to the heel for Dennis Corner. Matthews got Chuck on the outside. <coughs> Rush. Lombard check. One, two. Oh, man. This is... Rush's debut. I'm oh, sorry. Actually, it was not. He was part of that money in a bank briefcase qualifier in the house show. That non televised event, but first Thursday night show. Been a part of the Fire Pro branch for about a year and a half now. Oh. Sorry. For about a year, I should say. <coughs> and Tonga took his head off. That clothesline Matthews makes the save. 
Oh, he laid Matthews out that boss man slam. Matthews getting up. And just launches him with a German. Look at this. Elbows. Up. Oh, down. Two. No. The drunk guy could not get the job done. This is the first meeting. Heels for days. Dangerous Alliance. Stop it on the head of Tonga Krom. Rush, head back up top. Drops the elbow. Back in comes Jeff Matthews. He is pumped up. Running knee, no one home. Snaps off the German, no bridge. All impact from Tonga Crumb. Went for a close, I got sidestepped. Nailed in the side. Formed to the back. Throws in the corner. Lets him up over the shoulder. And hangs him out the drawer of the top rope. Grabs him by the neck. Google and just tosses him. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, there's the boss man slam. Too close to the heels for day's corner. European uppercut. Belly to back. Oh, into the backbreaker. And a kick right in the face. Working on the arm. Giving Matthews plenty of time to get back to his feet. Big forearm shot. Close line about. Turned him inside out. And look at this, right to the pin. Rush is nowhere to be found. No, wow! And I lash away from the heels for days. No. <laughs> Two. Whoa! The heart, the heart fans of Jeff Matthews. I'm not sure what he was going over there. Big slap. Dunk behind German, folds him up. There's the tag. How's it by that? Ooh! Knee right in the face. Nice head scissors. That cravat. That standing cravat. Oh! Toga gets backstabbed. Two. No. Matthews going to the top. What in the? Phoenix Splash. He connects. Tags in Matt Rush. Rush like, no, no, no. I'm going for the pin here. No. Went and pinned off the Phoenix Splash. Oh, kick in the head. And a knee. But Rush fighting back and goes face first to the mat. Courtesy of a King Crom. Okay, look at this. Power pump. Landed on the top rope and threw it down the mat. High angle power pump. <coughs> Matthew flew by Tonga Crom. 
Here we go, power bomb. No, over the shoulder. Face down. Back in comes Tonga Krom. Quickly into the pin. One, two. No, Rush kicks out. Matt Rush. Almost a forearm grazed. But got enough to take him down. Oh, cravat neck breaker. By the drunk god. Matt Rush. Guy with that knee, more of a kick. But it was not enough. Drops the knee. Now they're breaking his boot across the face. And by the arm, it's a forearm. Press over his head. Sending right in front of him down the mat. Again, why would you pin near your opponent's corner? Fireman's carry. Hangs him about to dry. Oh, what a starter! Springboard corkscrew stunner, Kamagori. My God, double knee buster. Oh, that pump super kick by Tonga Krom. Oh, elbow. <coughs> Tonga hit that clothesline from hell. High elevated flatliner. Tonga now. Forearm shot. That lifts him up. Drops him down. His head is up on the turnbuckle. And he's gonna do it again. He raked down the middle turnbuster. Uh, Buckle, I'm sorry. Right hand. Make it three at left. A big right one at the end. Over at belly to belly. Throw him like a sack of potatoes. Right hand. And here comes Matt Rush. Right hand. Here we go. My God, he got him up. No. Rush thought he had him. Nice dragon screw by Kane Crum. But Matt Rush. To pull him back on the submission. Oh, modified bulldog. Tonga's busted open. I'm going to give him a that cradle. Almost like a tombstone, but sends him down the mat. And no, a K not giving it up. Bring forward drop kick on the mark. And just knee lifted. Fighting now that front face lock. Back breaker, neck breaker. Pulls in. Swinging neck breaker by Rush. Here we go. He's waiting. Turn the elbows down again. 
One, two, and ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Heels for days picks up the victory. Jeff Matthews, Matt Rush walk away with a victory on their first Revelation X Thursday night event. Congratulations. What a win for this team. And ladies and gentlemen, Furious Frank, the Revelation X Hardcore Champion, and the Wolf of Midgard, Bellamy Wayne, will go up against the current Revelation X Tag Champions over on our Fire Pro side, the Saint Bane, the prestigious one, Travis Markson, the prestigious Saints. Here tonight, can Team Riot World, Riot Pro Wrestling, show what they're all about? Or will the prestigious Saints continue to steamroll the competition? Again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this Monday, we will be back. If, if I sound like crap or whatever the case may be, we will be back. This Monday night on our Fire Pro side, Revelation X Monday night, we will be back and we will have an eight women's, eight woman tournament to crown who will be facing the women's champion at our next event. And in, our, in the main event, Mad Max Orion will face the enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. So it's going to be a hell of a show. We await. And ladies and gentlemen, that look at there they are, the prestigious Saints, the Saint Bane, the prestigious one, Travis Markson. They are here. These men, the Revelation X Tag Champions over on our Fire Pro side. And last time I checked, they defeated, they defeated the Golden Boys who were on their third title raid. And now they're here and they are ready to take care of business. These guys are awfully full of themselves. Made their name over in EOW, Elite Online Wrestling. We as well as our Fire Pro side. And there he is, the Revelation X Hardcore Champion. The Furious One, Furious Frank. He defended his Hardcore title this past Sunday against Jaden Shadow. He walked away victorious.
Can he come in here and get the job done tonight? Man's a two-time hardcore champion. Former world heavyweight champion on our Fire Pro side. Riot Pro Wrestling Champion. Tag Champion. I mean, man's done it all. We know he's looking to become world champion here in Revelation X. A man that has the golden ticket. The Wolf of Midgard, Bellamy Wayne. He has that golden ticket in his right hand that he can get a shot anytime he wants. I mean, you gotta imagine he's gonna watch tonight when Spike's in action. I mean, Spike is facing newcomer Justin Gates. Better believe he's gonna be paying attention to that match. <coughs> Currently the only talent who holds that briefcase. Here we go, Bane starting at it. With the furious one. Oh! Samoa driver. Elbow to the body. Oh, nice fly liner. In comes the Wolf of Midgard. Frank and Bane. Double shoulder blocks. Bane with a DDT. Markson's in the ring. The Wolf of Midgard just stretching the arm. Kick to the body. I think draped. Oh, draping DDT. Hung him in the top rope and just spiked him. Washer well, sure Marks was trying for a running knee or what he was going for. But Furious Frank back in. Knife edge chop. And this is just. Trying to work on the knee. Body kick. Oh, nice judo hip throw. Working on the arm. Just trying to attack any body part he can. German suplex. all oh, bridge. Back in comes the Saint Bane. Throw some wild shots. Nice spear by Frank. No. Body kick. Back elbow. But Frank fighting back. Running clothesline. 
Tugs a kick right in the face. Up on the shoulders. Samoa Driver. Only a two. Bang can't keep him down. Again, ladies and gentlemen, big match announced for next Thursday at the end of our broadcast. The prestigious one in the ring. Working on the arm. Oh, one for a shooting star. A pair of knees. Frank with the right hands. Kicked in the back. Markson's in trouble. Markson fighting out of that corner. Big trigger. Oh, inverted Frankensteiner. Trying to drag him out of that corner. Didn't get him very far. And now you're a one count. Right hand. Oh, rolling cutter. He comes the Saint Fane. And only just a rope break. <coughs> Frank fighting back into an arm bar too close to the ropes. Markson comes in the ring. Frank with those elbows getting off that shoulder. Bane just fighting away. Big side, belly to belly. Back in comes the prestigious one. In comes the wolf of Midgard. There you go. How about that for a belly to belly? We see Bane for a one. Now they're bouncing Markson's head off the mouth like a basketball. Markson... Ooh, nice vertical. Markson sweeps the legs. Ooh, the big boot did not miss. Bay with a kick. I mean, he almost lost his match for his team. That boot almost lost their match for him. Dragon scratch. He cut the leg. The Wolf of Midgard in control here. Oh, there's that rolling cutter. He calls that the Ragnarok. Markson. Oh, into the stutter. That shotgun. Lariat. And another lariat. And the three piece. Right down the right hand, and I believe Bane is split open. Ooh, no. Bane, latch ditch, kicks out. <coughs> Frank, single on DT, Fujiwara Ombar now. Just stretching on Bane. Trying to weaken the limb. 
And Frank, what ability, what agility to spring in the top rope like that. Running European uppercut. And back in comes the Wolf of Midgard. In comes Travis Markson. And another shotgun. Knee to the body. Fireman's carry. Markson body kicks. Takes a knee to the ribs again. Belly to belly sends him over. Frank back in the ring now. Against the prestigious wood. Belly to back and folds him up like an accordion. Ooh, nice flatliner. And the Wolf of Midgard, Bellamy Wade, back in. Mr. Money to Bank. Sends him in the corner and just flings him. Oh, nice reversal right down the elbows. This marks it. Oh, look at this! The cease and desist! The cease and desist! One, two, no! One for the spring, springboard splash. Little double team action. Boots up. Marks and goes right to the boot. Frank. And crash it burn for Travis Markson. Two. And Bane made the save. Markson just chucked over the top rope. I'm sorry, Bang is still in the top rope. Oh, nice move there. Rolling wheel kick. Action on the outside. Nice kick to the body. Marks it. Puts, oh, kick to the head. Bottom rope move salt. Middle rope moonsault. Shades of the insane luchador. Super crazy. Springboard Phoenix Splash. Destino. One, two, and the save. Oh, nails him. That rolling cutter. That same move. That he called. That Wayne calls the Ragnarok. And Markson. Has things well on hand. It's a four on right hand. Oh, nice corkscrew brain buster. Too close to the rope, so. Markson, shot to the ribs. Oh, spiking Frankensteiner. One, two. Wow. What a hell of a contest, fans.
Here's Frank Ballon back out of the clutches of Travis Markson. Markson just sidestepped him, then stabs him right in the back. <coughs> the Saint comes in. Off the ropes. Spins it with a Frankensteiner. Bottom rope springing it with a cannonball. The hardcore champ is rolling right now. In comes the Wolf of Mega, Mr. Money to Bank. Oh, good night. Endless winner. Endless winner. He's waiting for him to get up. I'm not sure what he was doing there. That said it all. Over the back of the head. <coughs> Dustino. And it over. The prestigious Saints on their debut. With a victory over Team Riot World. An impressive team, no doubt. Telling you fans, these guys are a team to watch for. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a number one contenders match. The winner of this match will face the world heavyweight champion if things go where they're supposed to, but but we are being told that they will face the champion May 19th. Revelation X, Thursday night, May 19th. Whoever is the champion after that pay-per-view, they will face the champion then. Or if there is no challenger the time but one of these men will be facing the champion could be the 19th or it could be even sooner it could be the 15th we'll see how everything plays out at that time but here we go Dallas Black Rose Jaden Callow Briggs. Jaden Calco Briggs. <clears throat> Maybe almost knocked off Brandon Alexander in their hardcore war <clears throat> back before Mania. Mania's debut at the RevX Rumble. <clears throat> and here he is. He is ready to go. Impressive agility. Someone very underrated. Yeah, 
And here comes the Enforcer. He is the RevX champion over on the Fire Pro side. He is the WCC Big Gold Champion. He will be in Trap City later tonight. I heard after his match tonight, after this match, he is jumping in the car and driving to Trap City for Trap Down. That he's going to be facing Ken Washington. Those two men are no strangers to one another. As always, fans, this is one fall to a finish, not elimination. Not a three-way dance. This is a triple threat. And here comes the former Revex champion. Dallas Black Rose. Calls up the War Horse. Well, they're Mr. War Horse. Guy in light, where you want to call yourself, you got a long night ahead of you. You got two guys that are going to give it their all. I mean, we take, we look back. Briggs defeated King Devitt Jr., BMF, and Byron X. Jeffries defeated K Dog Anderson and Grimm. Black Rose defeated Marks and Harrell, Bellamy Wayne, Brandon Alexander, and Matt Rush. And Black Rose is posturing. These two men going at it. Jeffrey the Black Rose. No strangers to one another. And look at this. Just watching Jeffries. And Black Rose go at it. And now Briggs getting himself some of the enforcer. Jeffrey's like not happening. D-bomb floats him over. Makes him eat a knee. Deadlift power bomb. Dallas Black Rose. Jeffrey with a bear paw right hand. Body shot. They are picking their shots on Briggs. Oh my God! What a clothesline! Sweet Jesus! What a close line! <coughs> Running kick, but that close line he got hit. My God! He just gets slapped down. Jeffries just posturing as Briggs with a right hand up. Angry and forced on the top rope. Briggs on top. Jeffries sends him off the top rope. Crashing up, burning in the ring. Headbutt. Oh, in the corner. 
And too busy posturing the corner. And slams him down. Pop handle. Oh, Murphy's Law. Two. No. First fall to a finish. No Calco up top. What a shooting star by the big man. Moon salt. Straight jacket German. Briggs showed some freaky agility for a big man. Jeffries, oh my god. Power bomb, a D bomb, I should say. Step up in Zaguri. Drops the knee on the hand. Going to the top rope now. Frog splash. Jeffrey might be in trouble. Briggs. Oh, Jeffrey's kicks out. The enforcer knows he has a long night ahead of him. What a DTO. Oh, cry for help. Cry for help coming. Here we go! And broke it up! Briggs knew! Once he got the cry for help on, it was over! Murphy's Law! One! Two! No! Roll through, rolling senton. <coughs> Kick variants, yeah, DDT. Blackheart needs to keep the big man down. Now he's going to fly, what in the? Big. Egg time on that moon salt. But Briggs not done yet. Jeffries. Oh, kick to the thigh. Oh, he got the head scissors that time. Spins Jeffries around. Briggs on the apron. That's Blackheart. Trying to take on the knees of the enforcer. Nice palm shot. Code red. Shades of the amazing red there. Flat lighter. DDT is the enforcer. Jeffrey's back elbow. Kick to the ribs. Caught the leg. Fireman's carry. Hangs him up to draw on the top rope. Briggs. Better hurry up. We're going to see another cry for help. Referee's right down there, Briggs. Took too long to, to posture these fans. And he about messed up there. Box the ears. Jeffrey's knee, right hands. One for our left got blocked. 
Belly to belly. Rolling thunder. Two for the price of one. Good night. There's the congregation. Another congregation. No. Everybody's hit their big moves. Jeffrey's on the apron. Black Rose cannot believe it. <coughs> Everybody going after the enforcer. Jeffrey sends Briggs down. Puts Briggs in the corner. Going right after the back speed kick. These guys fight tooth and nails. Oh, we got Briggs. Briggs went for a whirly bird ride. <coughs> Jeffrey, oh, gets Dragon Suplex. <coughs> Black Rose gets lit up with a chop. Oh, he's in a camel clutch. Jeffrey's can't stop it. Briggs, is he going to make, no, Blackheart. Does not submit. Oh. Go for that roll of DVD. Little page out Black Rose's playbook. Black Rose was using that move as well. The catacombs. Head kick. Northern Lights. Jeffries. Now going out. Oh, out of the ring. And this man just being cocky and arrogant. He better hope that doesn't come back to bite him. V trigger. Big man with a Frank Steiner. Jeffrey with a forearm shot. Oh, the big man's in the cry for help. And the rope saved him. Going for the pin, shoot the half. He's like, no. Oh, back at again. But of course, Black Rose. Neckbreaker, butterfly suplex. Send the enforcer rolling out to the floor. Briggs, leg kick. Ooh, headbutt. Two. And that headbutt. Is what did the job? Briggs is number one contender. He earned it. Jaden Calco Briggs is your new number one contender. Congratulations, to this young man.
But remember, he never beat Jeffries. He beat Dallas Black Rose, but he did not beat the Enforcer. And ladies and gentlemen, the women's number one contender, Cassidy Rain, Cassidy Rain, I should say, against Heather Ray. These two were the final ladies last Sunday. And Ray's defeated Heather Ray. And now, this is a little grudge match. So Heather Ray is going to show everybody, hey, that victory was a fluke. We're about to see here tonight. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We will be back with our Fire Pro show this Monday night, eight women's number one contendership tournament. Also, the main event, the RevX World Champion on that side, the enforcer, Dustin Jeffries, will be facing Mad Max Orion in the main event. And there she is, Cassidy Reigns with her selfie stick. I'm sure she's going to be taking a lot of selfies when she gets her shot at the title. We know Veronica Vega who is still out partying, still out celebrating her win, is not here tonight. <coughs> I mean, I'm sure Vega is probably doing her homework, watching what she has to has to contend with. I mean, she knows full well she does not want to underestimate these ladies. Especially Cassidy Reigns. And ladies and gentlemen, also don't forget the chosen one, Demon Arrell and Billy Buff Norton our semi-main event, and then the Redmax World Champion, the Superior One Spike, and this newcomer, Justin Gates, in our main event. Heather Ray sprinting down to the ring. Heather Ray, she is ready to go. No for it. D D O oh, knee. Reigns reversed. Going to the top. Almost a inverted Famouser, but it did the job and got Heather right down. Dragon screw leg whip. Now the stretches of the leg. Got she's trying to get a shot cut with a senton. These ladies. Cassidy Rand finding every answer to escaping Heather Ray. Down with the VKO. Big splash finds the mark. 
We've seen these heads as earlier. We've seen that from Dallas Black Rose. Oh, there's the code breaker. Hey, Tessie Reigns wins, but come on, I mean, ref. I mean, there's a leg legitimate gripe there. Heather Ray. Gonna show respect, but I think we're gonna have to go back on that film though. We're gonna have to go back and look at that film because if I see it right, she was holding the bottom rope the whole time. But boy, oh boy. Controversy riddles a match. Referee didn't see it, unfortunately. And now we got Billy Bob Norton, who is very successful this past Sunday as he defeated Hector Flores. But now he's going to have to face a former world heavyweight champion, former tag champion. I mean, the 19-year-old prodigy, Devin Harrell, I can't tell you how many titles he's won. I cannot name him off the top of my head how many times he's been world champion. But besides the fact, this man is ready to go. Can Billy Buff Norton show the world, hey, Sunday night was not a fluke. I could get the job done. And there he is, Billy Norton. Or as he calls himself, Billy Buff Norton. Norton was on the longest losing streak in recent memory. Defeated D-Mob, a former world champion, I don't know how many tries, got the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your semi-main event. There he is. The chosen one, Devin Harrell. <coughs> The leader of the Dangerous Alliance. This man has truly done it all when it comes to, I mean, main event of mania. Came close to successfully defending. He's been on the mountaintop several times. Has defended successfully. Can he get the job done tonight? We will find out. There's the bell. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Bell tried to stop a muddle in him out of the corner, but Norton was not having it. Ran it down the left hand. Cross face punches. I want to drop a walk away. <laughs> Big burning lariat. Springboard, no water in the bowl. <laughs> Pardon me, fans. Again, Mother Nature being a cruel, cruel hoe this year. He's been fighting it out. <laughs> Corral. Do a little posturing. He needs to get back inside now. Look at those just repeated elbow shots. Oh! That big Hail Mary. What the? Oh! That was nasty! <laughs> Again, my apologies. Trying to fight through this cold. Try bringing some of the best commentary around. Oh! Suicide Solution! Over the shoulders. Snake eyes. Here we go. A little sweet shin music. One, two. And no! Could be time for the jobber killer. Yes, here we go! There's the jobber killer! Two! Wow! He has knocked off another former world champion! Multi time world champion! Billy, Buff, Norton, did it with ease, Devin Arrell got put down just like that. Very, very impressive. And now, fans, our main event, Justin Gates against the Superior One, Spike. Spike, the World Heavyweight Champion. He has been World Heavyweight Champion on both the 2K and the Fire Pro side. The first Grand Slam Champion on our Fire Pro branch. Spike's a former hardcore champion here. He's currently one half of the UWA Tag Champions with the Legend D, a part of our collectively, as I like to call them, the Superior Legends. Also currently the longest reigning at this moment in time UWA United States Champion. He's held that title since he defeated Tony Marcella. And I don't think he's plans on letting it go. Now 
We await the arrival of Justin Gates. And there he is. Bringing the fire down is Justin Gates. He is ready for a battle. I mean, we talk about man who. I mean, he defeated a world from a world champion as well last night. In Dylan Streets, he defeated a former Revex world champion. I mean, and here in a non title match against the one and only. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Revelation X World Heavyweight Champion. He is the superior one. He is the one. He is the only. He is Spike. The superior one bragging with about that championship he holds the Revelation X world heavyweight champion making his way down the ring with that championship around his waist This man fought long and hard since the 2K branch relaunched on 19. This man has done everything he could. Main events under main events. Being so close to getting the job done. But now, tonight, I mean, last Sunday, he got the job done. And right now, he's facing his young gun, Justin Gates. Got him groggy that kick. And went with a springboard drop kick. Gates. Flying forearm, nobody home. They spike where with the elbows. Oh, here we go. Oh, coming shot. Kick. Nasty, nasty moves. Head kick. Northern Lights couldn't hold the bridge. Now raining down the right hands. Spike with a sleep. Off the top ropes. And he turned the midair with a drop kick. Asai Moonsault by the Superior Wood. Knee to the body. Gates. Double legs. Spike nailed the knee. And a super kick. Into the pen now. Only a two. K 
kick again. Boom! What a knee! Wow! Trying the ups of the world heavyweight champion, Justin Gates. Whipper snapper! Springboard European! Pulls him out with that superior knee! Two! Oh, wow! The champ trying to make quick work of him. Now the stomps are real. I was right hand. Knees to the body. Gates. So hey, I'm going to the top. Spike. Luthus press. Right in the right hand. I think he got Justin Gates to come down. And Gates was taking out of his element. Spike was playing games with him. Power bomb over the top rope, down to the floor. Pascato, no one home. And now, giving Spike the receipt. Roundhouse, oh, speed wheel kick. Inverted figure four leg lock. Trying to wear down the superior one. I mean, Gates would love to get a pinfall or submission victory. Does he want to get a count out or a disqualification? No. He wants to be decisive. The elbow is pretty decisive. To the back of the head of Spike. Knees to the side of the leg. Gates, the kick. What a knee, and Spike split open. Oh, Spike, the wherewithal to grab the rub. The referee seen it. High cradle suplex. Oh, the kick. Flinched him and made him fake. Dropped him with a DDT. What the? He went for the superior knee. Gates not having it. Went for the kick, not happening. Hit him with a book in. Oh, here we go. Superior knee. One, two, what? Spike can't believe it. Ripcord superior knee. Kamagori, superior knee, one, two, and Spike was like, holy crap, thinking, who the hell is this kid? See, spear one split open. This man, the superior one, Spike. After years of hard work, he is on top of the world. He is the world heavyweight champion. And ladies and gentlemen, I said we have an announcement for next week's show. Main eventing. The debuting. Whitney Baker. And... Another de woman debuting, Katrina Roy, will be debuting 
They will go one-on-one -on -one with each other next Thursday night. Yes, Katrina Roy and Whitney Baker one-on-one -on -one next Thursday night. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, fans, we will see in a special challenge match the Dangerous Alliance Heels for Days Six Man Tag. You do not want to miss it, fans. Thank you for tuning in here tonight. We will see you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Steven Rogers signing off.